Hello, New Hampshire Realtors. I'm Jim Lee, your 2021 NHAR president with an update for June 21st. With the New Hampshire legislative session scheduled to end later this week, we thought now would be a good time to bring in the chair of our public policy committee, Chris Norwood, to talk about the real estate related highlights from the session. So what can you tell us about what went on, Chris? Jim, thanks for the opportunity to talk today. Um, quick plug, I just want to say thank you to all of our volunteers on Public Policy Committee. It was a really unique year, as it was for all of us. And if anyone's interested after watching this video or talking to uh, any of our representatives, please join us for the 2022 session. We'd love to have your input. So let's just get right into it. Unfortunately, the, uh, the governor's bipartisan HB 586 which was coming out of committee with support, did not pass this year as it did not pass last year. This was a, a, a housing bill that would have tackled uh, some of the challenges that our realtor members see in the field where we could look forward to having uh, certain communities being labeled housing champions that would perhaps afford them some additional benefits from the state. And it would also provide voluntary training for our land use boards like zoning board and planning boards and historic and so forth. Unfortunately, that bill did not pass, but it's not, you know, we're not just going to talk about opportunities lost today. There are some opportunities that we won. So uh, Senate Bill 103 is a, an expansion of the 79E program. For those of you who are not familiar about that, that is an opt-in program that a municipality can select. And, uh, and what it does is it provides some tax incentive relief for redevelopment in, uh, in various communities. In this particular opt-in, uh, the legislature decided to expand what would be allowed under 7090e to also include multifamily residents. So that was a, a benefit that we thought was something that we should support on behalf of property owners and our realtor members. So pleased that that passed through. Another positive one that we saw this year was the protection of the Housing Appeals Board. The Housing Appeals Board was adopted a number of years ago and finally started this year. The Housing Appeals Board provides an alternative path to applicants or abutters who are looking at a land use decision, such as your planning board or your zoning board, and choose not to go to superior court. Uh, as we know, Superior Court is a costly endeavor, and even some municipalities lobbied in favor of the Housing Appeals Board because they saw it as a shorter path to resolution. We were in favor of it because we think it uh, is an equitable scope to get a quick decision relative to any aggrieved party, be it an abutter or an applicant themselves. Finally, I want to mention uh, Senate Bill 129. That is on the alterations of terrains permits. And specifically, if for any of developers who are realtor members or developers, their clients, they know that alterations of terrains permit can be a cumbersome process. If you disturb more than two acres of land, uh, essentially the alteration of terrains permit gets many of the departments in Concord to look at the application. And this could include wetlands, it could include Department of Transportation, it could include historic. In this case, there was a Supreme Court case a number of years ago, which broadened the scope of the, the fish and game relative to endangered species. And what this bill sought to do was to wordsmith some of the language within the statute authority to allow for a little bit more specific remedy for developers who need to, to get a, an alteration of terrains permit. We're hoping that this is the start of a conversation that will slow down some of the red tape. There's a huge backlog presently up in Concord for AOT. And uh, we're hoping that this is a small step to break that log jam. So those are the bills that we had reviewed. One final one I should mention, this is a bonus one, I guess, remote uh, uh, notarization. And so for our realtor members, they know that under the executive order last year when the pandemic started, we were getting comfortable with remote notarization. In fact, this is something that we have been desiring to have prior to the pandemic. Now coming out of the pandemic and now that the emergency orders are over, that actually closed the window for remote notarization. Happy to report now 
that due to a uh, committee of conference compromise between the House and the Senate, we will have remote notarization moving forward in the state of New Hampshire. Thanks, Chris. And what, what can you tell us about what we should look for when the legislature resumes their 2022 session in January? Well, Jim, for 2022, there are a lot of bills that were either tabled or re-referred. Basically, uh, that's a conquered way of saying that we're going to put off a discussion and we'll have it again next year. So some of the issues that we should start to think about for ourselves and our clients, septic re regulations, especially septics around large waterfront, that has been a discussion for a number of years and, uh, and, and will continue to be a, a discussion for the new legislative session next year. There was a bill that came forth that discussed what defines the right to evict an apartment tenancy and does the end of a lease justify terminating that tenancy or, or bringing forth an eviction claim against that tenancy. That's a bill that we'll revisit again next year. Short-term rentals for anyone who has an, a, a place to rent up in Conway or looking to vacation there this year with your family. I'm sure you've read the newspapers about the goings on up there and we're looking forward to discussing in Concord what may be done for short-term rentals. Uh, and finally, as we talked about leading off this questionnaire, uh, at Housing Bill 586. That was just one tool to discuss what's going on in the housing crisis. We all know that this is not something that started in the pandemic. We've been on a declining inventory for a number of years now, rising rental rates for apartments, rising prices for the median price in the state of New Hampshire. We're looking at seeing what we can do in the House and in the Senate for 2022 relative to the housing crunch that we find ourselves in. Thank you. That's great information, Chris. Once again, my guest has been Chris Norwood, the chair of the NHAR Public Policy Committee. We appreciate your time, Chris. So that's it for our June 21st update. As always, if you have any questions of me or any of our staff members at the State Association, please don't hesitate to reach out by calling the Concord office at 603-225-5549. Thank you, and we'll talk again soon. Have a good day.